Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today our topic is uh, code coverage flow using Cadence IES and uh, ICCR tools. So generally this uh, IES tool that means uh, in situ enterprise simulator. So generally used for the verification purpose. So whereas ICCR tool in Cadence it stands for in situ comprehensive coverage reporting tool. So which is generally used to match coverage data. So display textual and graphical reports for coverage data and more coverage items and analyze the coverage data for that purposes we are using this uh, cadence iccr tool so if you can observe here so before going to uh, discuss uh, uh, about the iccr tool and ies tool in cadence let's have a brief discussion about what is code coverage and what are the different types of code coverage so let's see one by one so see the definition of code coverage. Generally, code coverage is done by the design engineer. The design engineer has to submit his report to the verification engineer. So it simply say that how thoroughly the design has been executed by the simulator using the text simulation you have provided in the text bench code. It is simply a, a code coverage. Code coverage is a metric generated automatically from the design source in RTL or gates. Generally, high level of code coverage is preferable. So, it only measures how often certain aspects of the source are exercised while running a suite of tests. Missing a code coverage is useful an indication of one of two things, either unused code or holes in the test. Code coverage is tool independent so that means it's difference from tool to tool like, like uh, synopsis cadence first uh, assignment etc so it is different from uh, tool to tool so it's usually expressed in terms of percentage simply remember a high code coverage is always preferable generally code coverage is actually done by the design engineer after that after that he has to submit his report to the verification so these are different types of code coverage statement coverage branch coverage, condition coverage, expression coverage, toggle coverage and FSM coverage that means finite state machine coverage. Statement coverage. It is a metric for statement coverage is the count of execution of statements during the simulation. That means uh, generally in the test bench it includes blocking statements, blocking assignments, non-blocking assignments as well as continuous assignments also. The formula for this is uh, uh, it's by pins into hundreds. Generally, these uh, hits means uh, we can simply say that how many branches are they covered in the uh, particular test bench code. Whereas pin indicate the total number of branches in that particular test bench code. Generally, the formula is uh, hits by pin into hundred. Next, uh, branch covers. It is the metric for branch coverage. It's the count of execution of branches. The uh, branches like if case and ternary of it during the simulation so like if branch it includes both true branch as well as false branch if anyone is missing means the hidden branch all false is added next one case branch it includes case items as branches so the formula for branch cover is also expressed in terms of percentage this formula is same it's to the bins into 100 so condition coverage it is a metric for condition coverage count of decision made in the branches if and ternary using expressions during the simulation of particular test match code. It works on the principle of UDP and FEC based algorithms. The formula is remains same each to the pins into 100. Whereas toggle coverage. Toggle coverage is ability, ability to count and collect changes of state on specified nodes. So there are two types of toggle coverage, standard toggle coverage and extended toggle coverage. Standard toggle coverage we have 0 to 1 transition and 1 to 0 transition. Whereas in extended toggle coverage totally we have three states that means 0 to 1, 0 to z whereas 1 to 0, 1 to z. So z to 0 and z to 1. So whereas it's, uh, z is uh, so an undefined state we can simply say that the formula remains same. This to the bins into 100. Next one FSM coverage. So whenever there is a final state mission, generally we can prefer to use this FSM coverage. It counts if each state is covered at least once. 
so it counts all possible transitions are covered including the transitions related to ideal state also so so in this way there are different types of uh, uh, coverage so now we can see how we are going to calculate this code coverage by using the cadence tool so let's so let's begin the code coverage flow using cadence tool so initially i have created one directory which is embedded as prashan so where i have customized this half ladder design code so as well as half ladder test bench code so along with i have kept two supporting files that is cds.lib and hdl.var so along with these files i have also kept this work lib directory Uh, so before invoking the ICCR tool for analyzing the coverage, we have to invoke the IES tool. Okay, so it is mandatory. So if you don't see how to invoke the IES tool, so that uh, video has also already done. If you don't see that video, that a particular link will be given in the description. You can watch from that link. Okay, so let me open this uh, directory. That is uh, C. Let me go into the directory C D Prashant. So after that, I have to type the command source hyphen user source slash software so slash and csv. So then it's open the welcome to cadence and synopsis tool too. So then I have to invoke this uh, IES tool. Then I have to enter the command nc launch hyphen new. So then click on this multiple step. Click on OK here. So let me expand this. So after that, uh, if you can observe, these are two. Let me select this half ladder design code and test bench code. Then I have to perform this elaboration operation so that I have to click on this launch Virilla compiler with the current selection. Then click on this button. So I have to select uh, this one also. I have to check so whether any errors are there in the code or not. So my elaboration will be completed. So then what I have to do? I have to run the simulation. I have to invoke uh, this ICCR two also. For so for that, I have to just open this Worklib directory. So in the half ladder list, so just uh, click on this NC lab option. So in uh, click on this advanced option, where uh, uh, I can find this elaborate advanced option window. So I can find out this uh, comprehensive coverage uh, option. So in the elaborate advanced option, just the click on this. Is uh, uh, select this block coverage expression and toggle covers. Then click on apply. Then OK. So apply. OK. So if you can observe here, so in this particular uh, folder, so there are uh, only worklib directories. Remember this. Let me show you. Then. In uh, snapshot, let me go to the snapshots in the operator test module. I am I am so my elaboration phase is completed. So after that compilation is also done. So then my next step is simulation. Just I have to run the simulation by clicking the option NC Sim. Apply. Okay. Where I can so it will create so one another simulation environment. So a simulation window will be open along with the This design browser simulation window is also open. So then uh, click on this plus symbol. Select these inputs A, B, and output C and S. So right click, send to waveform window. Maximize, run simulation. So we can get the output of the soft. So after this, it is an output waveform of particular soft pattern. So in this way, verification of soft pattern will be done by using Cadence IES tool. Then once IES tool work is done, we have to invoke this ICCR tool for analyzing the coverage. Now I will show you the my directory. So now see this directory. So another directory COE work directory will be created. So before there is no this directory. Once uh, uh, the simulation has done, so COE work directory so will be there here. So, what is the purpose of this? Uh, after invoking the ICR tool, we can able to analyze clear. Okay, let me close all these uh, windows. Then I have to invoke this uh, particular ICR tool for analyzing the coverage report. So, let me close all of this. So, and see. So, this one also I have to close. 
So then now uh, open in terminal. So again I am going to freshly enter into my particular directory cd version next uh, source hyphen source slash user software software slash and fees okay then i have to invoke this iccr iccr hyphen gui okay so we will get this below window then uh, click on this maximize this then click on this uh, low test icon so then uh, double click on coe work double click on this design then double click on the test so so you can observe here it is in code coverage uh, report so it is uh, in code coverage report so let me 19 by 20 uh, coverage is 83 percent so these are the hits 19 are the hits and 23 are the pins. So 19 by 23 into 130 is approximately 83 percent. So it's a covers. Now double click on the either module or instance. Module or instance. So let me open this. So if you want to see the uncovered areas, means uh, click on this toggle option. So there is find toggle option. These are the uncovered areas in the test bench code of Hopper. So, so if you want to cover those uncovered areas, so what we have to do? Just to, we have to rewrite the test bench code of the header and uh, again rerun the simulation by enabling the coverage during elaboration and analyze the coverage results uh, again with the this same ICC. Okay. In this way, we can find out the coverage of a particular uh, offer. So, not only half header, we can be able to find out the coverage for any type of the data. So, uh, here I have get my coverage as uh, approximately 83 percent. 